Hi everyone, this is AFC RDTV. Of AFC Russian Diamonds against RC Jets in the extra preliminary round of the FA Cup from Friday evening. Manager Andy Peake stayed with the same 11 that went to victory against Harbour Town the previous match. That meant it would be Russ Duncan plays a career up front. Elliot Lamb Johnson, Matt Gearing staying on the wings. Richard Bunting and Brad Harris staying in the middle. Aaron Parkinson and Liam Dolman, the centre halves. Joe Henderson and Jack Ashton, the fullbacks. And Matt Finley in goal still. And Diamonds were without doubt out of the traps quicker in the first period. Plenty of opportunities for both Dunkley and Korea before Matt Gearing had a couple of chances relatively easily saved by keeper Will Baker in the Jets goal. But before too long, nice move involving Gearing and Dunkley into phase of Korea. He hooked the ball past Baker to give Diamonds a lead in the 24th minute. And Diamonds would continue to push their header from Dunkley going wide. And then Korea hooking the ball back for Richard Bunting. Took a deflection and went wide. And Diamonds pushed and pushed and pushed. And eventually they would get a second. Gearing knocking the ball into the centre. Greer at the second chance. Managing to get past the last gasp defending from the Jets. Scored Diamond second. 38 minutes gone. And it was Korea there with a nice right-footed shot. that needed palming over by Baker. And with time ticking out in that first period, still the Diamonds would push forward. And after the ball went back into the danger zone, it was the unfortunate Jets defender, Fongo, who knocked past his own man to make it Diamonds 3, Jets 0. And that's the way it stayed for half-time. The Jets really had to pull one back fairly quickly in the second period. And indeed they would. Ross, Lee Armit, the conversion to get Jets a goal back. That on the 49th minute. But that was it, really, as far as the Jets were concerned defensively. Gearing there with the chance going just over. And then was Stunkley with a header that went over. Before defender Dolman's header from a corner went wide. But with so many opportunities for the Diamonds, it was rather inevitable that another goal would come. And indeed it did. Fazer Korea, the first one to react after a shot was only partially cleared by Baker. And that giving in the 76. And there was just time for Diamonds to get the icing on the cake. Second half substitute, Turner for the Diamonds, dipping past Baker to get on to the end of a nice ball forward to make it 5-1 and that's the way that it stayed then full time FC Russian and Diamonds 5 Oxy Jets 1 Korea gets man of the match from club shirt sponsor Healy Building Supplies and that means that Diamonds will go on to the next round the preliminary round against Bedford Town on the weekend of the 30th of August Thanks for that Pete I think we all enjoyed that one man who certainly did, his first team manager, Andy Peaks. Andy, nice win. Your thoughts, please? Yeah, delighted tonight. Fantastic 5-1. Played some good stuff. Took a better ratio of chances. So, yeah, really pleased to get through. Um, we started very well. Um, had a couple of chances. Were you starting to get a bit flustered or not? I wasn't getting flustered, but I think when you play that one early on, Dunks have one particularly good chance which you'd expect to score. And it's just nice to score when you're that much on top. So I was starting to think we need to score, but, you know, it doesn't matter how long it takes, but it certainly makes me rest a bit easier if we can score early. 
And two quick goals from Faisal, second one that he took really well. Um, settled a few nerves. Yeah, no, it was good for him. His, his movement was good. He took both the goals really well. But yeah, it settles a few nerves, doesn't it? Gives you a bit two goal cushion was nice. And then the own goal, bad luck on the centre half, really. Um, 3 0 at half time. You must have been um, pleased with that. Yeah, the third goal was crucial, really, because we didn't get the third goal the other night, and 2 0 was a funny scoreline. The third goal was a great ball, and I think from Elliot, wasn't it? It was almost undefendable. Uh, Jack thought he was going to claim it, but he's not. It's an own goal. Um, but no, 3 0 was nice at half time, yes. So, what will uh, your half time team talk? More of the same, really. Don't get complacent and don't let them score. And they, did. <laughs> and then they went straight down and scored. That must have been disappointing because they seemed to string five or six passes together with our, our lads just watching applauding. Yeah, I think it was almost yeah, almost hard to get going second half. They caught us a little bit. Caught. I think the cross was actually deflected, so it wrong footed a few, but one of the clean sheets. That was very annoying, but we bounced back again from that. And uh, did the conditions affect anybody, do you think? Because it started to rain a bit then, didn't it? Yeah, it was a bit greasy second half, but I don't think that was a massive problem to anyone, really. Yeah, so Faisal popped up with his hat trick again. Goal we've come to expect from him. He's uh, there, Johnny on the spot, pops it in. Yeah, no, it was great that he could finish it off with a hat trick because I thought he deserved it tonight. He had a shot just before half time, the keeper made a great save. So it's nice for anyone to score a hat trick in the FA club for the club. So brilliant, yeah. And uh, your thoughts on the fifth goal? Fifth goal was perfect. I think that rounded it off really because it's nice for Jason. He's a prolific goal scorer. He hasn't hit as many so far as he wanted to. He understands that's why he's not probably started the season. But for him to come on and get one, rounded it off for me perfectly, yeah. And again, he worked very hard. And we saw right at the end with the ref, we are ready to blow for time, that Adam Kung Fu still pushing and pushing. Is that something you're looking for? I was pleased with him tonight. I thought he'd come on and look really sharp, got around the pitch well, does all the stuff he, you know, that's what he's all about. He gets around the pitch, he makes his tackles, he's good at both ends. And he, he was massive plus for him tonight. Yeah, that, that was really pleasing as well. And there was a few around me that were quite pleased to see Bunce go off because he um, seemed to want to ref it in the first half, didn't he? Yeah, Bunce was, I think he, he made two or three tackles and then eventually got booked. Then I think he was a bit annoyed that people made tackles on him and didn't get booked. So he was, it was one of them, but three and it was a tight rope. He can't play in centre midfield and not tackle, and I didn't want to take that risk, to be honest, so it was an easy change for me to make, but that's his game. He, he's, I'm never going to stop him doing that. And then you've got that quality to replace him with. Well, that's what we're looking for. We wanted to have a squad this year where I've got 18 or 20 players at the moment who all come in and do a decent job, and I think that's proved it tonight. I've rotated it slightly, and we're still really strong at the end, just as strong at the start, and that's what we need to have a successful season. So that's a tricky one out of the way. Um, next up is Bedford. We know a bit about them. You looking forward to that one? Yeah, I mean, we've got Peterborough next week, which is obviously a tough game. They've scored a lot of goals in their first three games, so that's going to be a tough one. We've had them watched. We'll probably watch them again tomorrow. Obviously, the league's massively important. Bedford, obviously, then's the following Saturday in the FA Cup, which is, you know, we know a little bit about them, as they do us. Uh, and, yeah, we're looking forward to that, but obviously next Saturday's a priority. We'll try and Tuesday, Thursday with that in mind. And that'll be a reminder to the players, will it, not to look towards Bedford until PNS are out of the way? Yeah, Bedford's for me and Lammy to worry about going and watching and we'll think about that now for two weeks' time. The players need to be ready for next Saturday because that's our next game. Um, what have you got planned for tomorrow? Are you look, watching anybody tomorrow? I was going to watch the under-21s tomorrow, but that's now been called off, so I'm sure I'll find a game to watch somewhere, Dave. Well, I hope you enjoy it, Andy. Thanks for speaking to us, and uh, see you next Saturday. Brilliant. Thanks ever so much. Well, welcome back here on AFC RD TV. A good result for Diamonds uh, tonight, obviously, defeating Oxy Jets in the FA Cup extra preliminary round, convincing 5-1 victory, and, gee, the more things... Uh, change the more they stay the same because once again I'm interviewing the man of the match old uh, Fazl Korea. Faz, great game tonight. Would you, did you enjoy the match? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, good game, good win uh, through to the next round so job mission accomplished or job accomplished. You're off to a great start this season. You had a goal against uh, Harbour Town last Tuesday evening and then a hat trick tonight so uh, it's got to feel good. Off to a great start for the 14-15 uh, season. Yeah, I've been a bit unhappy because uh, pre-season I didn't score very many uh, but fortunate to get one on Tuesday night and then another three today. So, yeah, very happy. Of your three goals this evening, which one was your favourite? Uh, probably the first, first, I would have thought, yeah. Probably the first one. On your second goal, you uh, followed up uh, a missed shot with a rebound. Mm -hmm. uh, what are your thoughts about that goal, the second goal? Yeah, I think uh, all credit must go to Matty Gearing for that one. Did really, really well, got to the byline, cut it back, and then I was two yards out, missed the first one, and then <laughs> made sure the second time, so, yeah. Good follow through. At halftime, uh, just before halftime, it looked like uh, Diamonds would be leading 2-0 uh, at the interval, but then uh, that own, own goal by 
uh, the Jets really came back to haunt them because now you're up 3-0 at halftime. You had to feel good at the break. Yeah, absolutely. Going in 3-0 up, um, we didn't start too great. So, yeah, 3-0 to the good. Elliot did really well for the for the third goal. And, uh, yeah, unfortunate for them. They scored. We'll put it into their own net. So. And then we had a little bit of rain in the second half. Did that uh, sort of uh, slow down play a little bit? Or sometimes the ball zips around more on the pitch in the yeah, rain? You'd think it'd quicken it up a little bit. But, yeah, we started a bit slow. Uh, they scored an early goal. And, you know, starting to think, is it going to be another ch game like Tuesday night? But, thankfully, we got another one and then killed the game off. So uh, then you score your third goal. Shortly after that, Pixie uh, pulled you off. You were substituted for. Were you disappointed? Were you wanting to stay in, maybe bag a couple of more goals? No, I think if you would have took me off with two, then I probably would have been a bit more disappointed. But I think three, I was happy with that. And then it gives, obviously, turns a chance to get on and score as well. So, Well, great game, Faz. Next up, uh, you play Bedford Town, I believe, right in the uh, next round, the preliminary round of the FA Cup. Tonight was a prelim to the prelim. <laughs> so uh, next in the preliminary round, you play Bedford. Uh, any early thoughts about that game? Yeah, uh, we played them in pre-season, so it'll be a good game. We know a lot of their players as well and their management. So, yeah, uh, FA Cup's always going to be difficult, but we, we did well against them in the pre-season, so confident going into the game. Of course, though, the old saying is take one game at a time. Technically, uh, actually, the next game will be next week on Saturday against PNS, right? Peterborough Northern Star, a team we played a couple of times last season. Didn't have such a good result a time or two, but... Uh, Early thoughts about Peterborough. Yeah, uh, as you said, next game is Peterborough, so we've got to take them uh, as it comes. I think the way the boys are playing, we're confident going into it, and we need to keep the league form up and get three points. Well, sounds good. Let's push uh, for promotion this season, right, O? Absolutely. <laughs>